Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. I'm very well. How about you? You're well. You're good. I'm. I'm great, man. I'm great. I'm happy. I'm happy oh, to so, see you here. I'm so glad to hear that. All right. Great. Great. So. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay. So. What's good, guys? What are we gonna do this? Uh, this weekend. Where are you gonna go? For this for this weekend, I have to go with my wife to play some games of baseball, of softball, or softball. Softball, nice, mm -hmm. nice, 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 and okay, we and uh, we are playing the same team. Nice, that's that's interesting because here you know people usually don't. Um, don't play that, you know. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Thank you. But that's good, man. It's good that you're sharing time with your family. That's Thank really you awesome. very much. Okay. So, anyways, guys. So, um, uh, so I'm very glad to see you here. Um, today, guys, we're going to go over the use of a very interesting topic, which is going to be uh, second conditionals, okay? We're going to talk about second conditionals. That's a very, 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 very interesting topic, guys, okay? So we'll see, you guys. We'll wait for... Turn on the cameras, guys. Don't be shy. All right? Don't be shy, guys. All right. So let's... Pull out the presentation, guys. All right, so um, so let's talk about let's talk about conditionals, okay? Specifically, guys, on real conditionals. What are they? What do we use them for? You know, let's, I'm still on my way home. I'll just be listening. All right, Gabby, it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. All right, guys, so anyways, so um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go over the use of real conditionals and we're gonna get some practice at the end, guys. I'd like to ask you guys, um, have you ever heard about second conditionals or unreal conditionals? Do we have any idea on of, um, what they are at all? What do you think? Um, a little bit. Uh... I remember conditional is uh, the structure is like if and verb or something like that. Okay. All right. So if plus plus something else. Okay. All right. Very good. What else, guys? What else? Who else has heard about unreal conditionals or second conditionals, which is the same thing? All right, it's okay. So guys, so by the end of the class, we will learn the use of real conditionals with if clauses, okay? So I have a question for you. First of all, what is a first conditional? Do we know what a first conditional is?
a first conditional, right? Looks like this, guys. If I can say, if I make enough money, I will buy a big house, okay? If I make uh if I make if I make enough money, I will buy a big house, right? This tense guess is what? Sorry, it says I I make, right? If I make. This tense is what? Hold on. If I make enough money, money I will buy a big house. Okay. So what tense is this, guys? Tell me. If I make enough money, is that simple present, simple past, simple future? What is it? Simple, a simple future. All right. So it is. I make enough money, guys. Is simple. Is that simple future? It's so that is simple. Simple present. future. <laughs> I make present. enough. It's simple present, right? Exactly. Right? I will buy a big house. What is that? That is a simple future. Simple future. All right, simple. very good. So guys, what we have when we have an if clause, right? With a first conditional, I mean with uh simple present plus. Plus simple future, right? If I have this, this guy's right here is a first conditional, okay? And I want to point this out because I, I'm gonna ask you for examples. And from the examples that I'm gonna ask you guys, you have to give me a second conditional example, okay? So I needed to differentiate the, um, this. All right, so that is the first conditional, okay? So simple present, an if clause in simple present combined with simple future, right? This is used to talk about possible situations in the future, correct? Right? So then we have, guys, second conditional. So I have a question for you. What would you do, guys, if you won a million dollars? What would you do? What would you do, Edgar, with a, if you won a million dollars? If I won a million dollars, I will be, I will stay in Europe for one month. So did you say this? I will stay there? I will stay in I Europe? Stay. I, I will stay in I Europe. would stay in mm -hmm. Europe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, Joanna, what do you think, Joanna? I would buy... Uh, a lot of house, houses. <laughs> I would buy a lot of houses. Very good. Good job. Eduardo, what would you do, Eduardo? No? Okay. Uh, Samuel, what would you do, Samuel? What would you do if you won a million dollars? You can say, guys, the example is here. If I won a million dollars, I would... That's a that's a way you can answer, right? So what would you do if you won a million dollars? No, okay. Uh Ever, what would you do if you won if you won a million dollars? Well, I don't know. Uh I think uh I'm going to move to another country to find a way to move legally to another country. Okay. So you can say I would, you know, if I won a million dollars, I would move to another country. Very good. Right. Tania, Pamela, what would you do if you won a million dollars? I would buy the, a house and cars. Okay, um, I would. Mm -hmm. um, in the trials. All right, I would buy a house and cars. Very good. Um, 
All right, very good. Fernando, what would you do? In my case, I would buy a car, a good car like Lamborghini or Ferrari, and I would buy an iPhone. Awesome. Okay, very good. <laughs> and very possibly good. I would buy tickets for, for, for travel to foreign countries like United States, Canada, or Europe. I thought that you were gonna say that you would buy tickets for Bad Bunny. All right. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the reason I want to have million dollars to buy tickets for Bad Bunny. All right, very good. So, so uh, all right. Good job. Good job. Right. So, if you notice, guys, are those real situations, guys? Do you have a million dollars? Maybe you do, right? No. We'll have you one million dollars right now. I, I don't think I don't think we would be we would need to learn English, guys. <laughs> if you, if we learned, you know, English. If if we uh won a million dollars, right? So, anyways, uh so those guys are imaginary situations. We are just imagining this, right? We don't have a million dollars, we're not winning any million dollars anytime soon. Correct? So we are using we are using this we're using this to talk about situations that are imaginary correct right? and that is called yeah, is that's the reason it's called an uh, an unreal conditional okay we call them second conditionals or unreal conditionals okay for situations that um for things you know for imaginary situations right so um what is the structure guys I want you to do something. I want you to write down the structure in your notebook. This is the structure we're going to use, guys. Simple past plus a present conditional, right? What is simple past? We're going to use the if clause, right? So that's the combination of if plus simple past and a present conditional, which is the combination of would or wouldn't plus the, ver the, the, the base form of the verb, okay? So write it down. All right. What do we use it for? We use it for imaginary situations in the present or the future. What do we use it for, guys? Imaginary situation. Imaginary, imaginary situations in the present or the future. That is correct. Okay. All right. Imaginary situations in the present or the future. Okay. Um, so first example, who would like to help me read the first example? Me, teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. If I didn't do my homework, I will get expelled. All right, if I didn't do my homework, I would get expelled, right? Has that happened, guys? Have you not done your homework? And I don't mean you, right? Maybe you didn't do it. I'm talking about, I'm talking about this right here, right? The example. If I didn't do my homework, I would get, I would get expelled, right? So that means, hey, I still have time to do my homework, right? I still haven't gotten expelled, correct? So that's it. If my brother found a million dollars, he would probably buy me a house, right? So it's it's imaginary, right? Are we talking about the present or are we talking about the future? We're both. talking about both, exactly, right? Exactly. So remember, guys, how I said before that a first conditional was a combination of simple present and simple future? Well, this is a combination, guys, of past simple and a present conditional, right? See? I didn't do my homework. This is what tense is that? Pass. Present. Oh, this that is past. Past, guys. Okay, this is simple. Right. So this is simple. Past. Past. Right. And I would get get expelled. What is this? Present condition. All right. This is a present. Conditional. 
conditional, right? Very good. It's a present conditional. Okay. So notice that we are going to place a comma if we use the if clause first. If the is clause, if the if clause is goes first, we're gonna place a comma, right? Could I say, guys? Could I say this? Could I say instead of I would uh, if my if I didn't do my homework, I would get get expelled. Can could I say I would get expelled if I didn't do my homework? Can I say this? Yes or no? Yes, we can say that yes. right? we can use the main clause first and the if clause second. The only difference is that we're not going to use a, a comma there, right? Take a look at the, at the examples that we got here. If I want a million dollars, I would buy a new car. If I were you, I would quit. It. I would quit smoking, right? So those are, you know, imaginary situations. So do me a favor, guys. I want everybody to do this right now. I want everybody to write down. Give me, guys. Coach. I have tell a me. question. Tell me. Can I use second conditional for negative? Yes. Yes, you can do that. Yes, you can say I wouldn't mm, I wouldn't talk to her if I had the chance. I mean, yeah, you can say that. Or you can say if I hadn't, if if I didn't, if I didn't talk to you, um, you would not talk back to me. Yeah, I mean, yes, man, you can say that. Whatever message you want to say, you can say it, right? So, yeah, you can use it negative and positive, right? Teacher, uh, can repeat the information, please, because I have. So yes, I said I yes. You, you, yes, I said you. Yes, you can. You can. You can use it in negative. It depends on what you want to say. Right. And the example, I you have the okay. example. I give you the example there. If I didn't talk to you, you would not talk back to me, right? So you can say that, right? So guys, thank you, my, teacher. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. All right, so guys. Do my favor. So you have the structure here. You have the examples. I want everybody to give me in your notebook, guys. You're going to write down 10 examples with second conditionals, okay? En su cuaderno, guys, me van a dar 10 ejemplos de second conditional ahorita, okay? So I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to finish that, and then I'll ask you, okay? All right, any questions? We good? All right. Let's go then. Let's go. Ten examples in your novel, guys. All right.
All right, so how are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Did we finish all 10 of them? All right, go ahead, Me keep teacher. working. Did, did you finish all 10 of them? Uh, so, so, because I have seven. Okay, right, finish all 10 of them, okay? I'm gonna wait for everybody. Finish okay. all 10 of them and I'll tell you, okay? I'll ask you, sorry.
All right, so guys. All right, let's uh let me hear you guys. Girls. Teacher, I finish. Go ahead. I right, give me one of your examples. Okay. If I would have superpowers, I will be a superhero like Superman. All right, do me a favor. I want you to correct your, your examples because I need you to take a look at this presentation and I want you to follow the structure. You just said, if I would, and that's not the structure. If plus, Fernando, if plus what? If plus, plus, simple. Exactly. If I would, Entonces is not simple past. If I would have. No, you don't say would. Fernando, just take a look at the examples that you got here, okay? See, these are the examples. This is structure, and this is these are the examples, right? So you have to redo them again. It's not if I would. Mm -mm. So correct that. It's if plus simple past. See, if I want a million dollars, if I were you, if I were the president, right? If they had more time, if I want a million dollars, right? If I had... So, do you have another example that is correct? Yes, yeah, I Go have ahead. other. Uh, if I travel to foreign countries, I would, I would be a uh, good job. I would have a good job. How? I would have. Yes, a good job. Right, very good. That is that is correct. All right, very good. Um, another one. Or right, is that it? Okay, very good. All right, so let's see, guys. I'm gonna ask everybody. All right, so let's see. Oof. <laughs> Right. Caesar, Caesar Guadalupe. All right, let's hear your example, sir. Go ahead. Caesar Guadalupe, no? All right, Edgar Tejada, go ahead. If I fall in love, I will be so happy. If I fall is in simple present, right? Yes. And the structure is in simple present or simple or simple past? Okay, it's a simple past. If I fell in love, I will be so happy. Good job, All right? Very good. Good job. All right? Do you have another example? If my sister was no if my sister was free no i i did i did it in present all right let's correct those okay mm -hmm. all right uh let's see edgar aviel do you have your examples Edgar? if i had no money, I, I won't buy a new phone. Um, if I didn't, right? It's a simple past. Okay. If I didn't have enough money. I use the hat. It's not correct. Okay, can you repeat your example again, please? If I had no money, I won't buy a new phone. No, but, but no, that's incorrect. If I didn't have. Okay. If I didn't have enough money, and it's I wouldn't, not I want, right? Because okay. it's in a real situation, but good job. Okay. All right, so let's correct those examples, okay? Elvira Lorenza, all right. Do you have examples for me, Elvira? No, okay. Um, 
Ever Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Go ahead, Ever. Uh, well, if I be rich, I will travel around the world. If I were rich, um, I would travel around the world. Very good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, if my family were bigger, we will need four cars to go together. Okay. Very good. And I have a question. Can I Tell say, me. if I didn't connect to English class, is because I'm working? If I didn't connect to the English class, was you can say yeah you can say if i didn't connect to the english class it was because i was working it was because okay. i was working but yeah but then that that would not be the structure of a second condition right oh, yeah. because you're not talking about an real situation anymore but yeah okay all right but yes you can say that you can say that okay. but that's not a second conditional all right very good uh that's a mixed conditional by the way all right so all right what else guys what else uh let's see let's see let me ask me go ahead Raul. um okay uh if she had the money she would buy a new car and the other one if i had better memory i would remember your phone number all right if i had good memory i would remember your phone number very good good job right Let's have very good. Who else, guys? David, Fernando, Gabriela, Gabby, you're driving. Go ahead. Catherine. If I went back in time, I will go back to my high school day. Very good. Good job, Catherine. Uh, That's an another awesome example. Idea. Hmm? If I had not studied now, I will have a study account. I, if I had not studied what, I'm sorry? Loun. Loun? What is loun? You mean Layers. loss? Loss. Loss. Yes. If I hadn't studied, if, if I hadn't studied, or if I didn't study? If I had not studied. But that's not second, that's not a second conditional. Oh. Yes. Right. No, that's not a second conditional. That that is the structure of a third conditional, actually. That's a little bit more advanced, but yeah, that's not a second conditional. A second conditional <laughs> follows the right the structure of simple present plus a present conditional, right? Good job. It's just you know that's not the second conditional, right? Very good. Uh do you have another example, Catherine? Um If she was obed obed she wouldn't have so many problems. All right, very good, good job. Thank you very much. Notice, notice something, guys. There is something very important that we need to mention here. When we talk about when we talk in second conditionals, right? This is called, guys, an unreal conditional, okay? Because we, we talk about unreal situations. And if we talk about unreal situations, we are going to say where. No matter, it doesn't matter if we use he, she, it, right? We're going to say if I were, if you were. If he were, if uh, she were, if it were, All right? Why? Because we are talking about unreal situations, and the fall and the rule is like this. Okay, so I know that I could say if I was right. This should be if I was, if you were is fine. If he was, if she was, if it were, if it was no. But in this situation, guys, if we're gonna use a, if you're gonna, if you're gonna uh, work with a second conditional, as long as it is a second conditional, we you need to say where. All right. Very good, very good. Okay, so keep that in mind. We're always gonna use where with second conditionals, only when we talk about unreal situations, because guys, if I said if I were rude, I am sorry. 
Now, is this guys, is this correct? Can I say if I were rude, I'm sorry? No. No. But no. why not? Because uh, uh, the, the second sentence. The second clause. The second clause uh, should be a uh, conditional, a uh, present conditional. Yeah, this is a mixed conditional, right? But this sentence, the, the sentence is okay. But the, the mistake here, guys, is that I can't say if I were rude. I need to say if I was rude, I am sorry. Because it's a real situation here, guys. I'm talking about a real situation. This is not imaginary, right? Maybe I I bumped into someone and that person got hurt. And then I am saying, you know, you know, hey, I'm sorry if I was rude, you know. I, maybe I said something rude to someone, right? But that, but that happened. That is not imaginary. If it is not imaginary, yes, you need to use was. You need to use the right conjugation with with a verb. Right. Sure. I have me. a question for this. Tell me. If you imagination, you use where? Yes. If I were. Yes. Mm -hmm. You say and if I were. It doesn't. It, it doesn't imagination. You use was. If it is not imaginary, use was, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. All right. Very good, guys. So let me keep listening to your examples. Uh, let's see, Irma. Do you have examples for me, Irma? If I had money, I could go to the beach with my family. Good job. If I had money, I would go to the beach with my family, right? Very good. Um, let's see. Joanna, Jacinia. Oh, you gave me yours, right? Uh, Catherine, you gave me yours. Nidia. Hello, Nidia. Do you have your example, Nidia? We good? All right. Um, let's see. Tanya, do you have your example? Yeah. If I spoken better English, I might apply for the that job. If if I spoke better English, what I'm sorry? I might apply for that job. I might apply for that job. Okay, very good. Um, very good, very good. Yancy, do you have an example for me, Yancy? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, go ahead. If I were the manager, I would do better things. If I were the teacher, I would teach with other material. If I would live more, I would be a dancer. If I have more free time, I would read more books. Okay, very good. Very good, okay. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, so if you notice, guys, the structure, right, it says, hey, you, we have the if clauses, right, plus the main clause. So we have two clauses, right? Now, can we I have a question for you? You Can I use the main clause first and then the if clause second? Yes or no? What do you think, guys? Could you repeat that question? Yes. Can, could, can I? Right. So we have two clauses, right? We have the main clause and we have the if clause. My question to you is, can I use the main clause here and then this here? Can I do that? Yes, you yes. can. Yes, right? The only difference is that if I use the main clause first, I'm not going to use a comma, right? I would buy a big house if I had a million dollars, okay? Okay. Right? So, guys, do we have questions about this? Mm 
No, not yet. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send you guys uh, a series of questions to the WhatsApp group right now. And I want you to I'm gonna couple you up so you can practice, okay? So hold on. Okay. All right, so I sent you the questions, guys. So if you notice, those are questions. Those are questions in second conditionals, right? So I want you to practice them, okay? Practice asking those questions and answering them, okay? And that's the activity that we're gonna do right now. All right, any questions, guys? We good? All right, let's go then, let's go. Hello, Fernando. Let's wait for people to join in, okay? How are you, man? Everything good? Uh, I am good, but I have hot because the weather is hot. The weather is hot, really? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, it happens, man. Yeah. It's been hot. I'm, I think I'm going to move you to a different room. Hold on. Two, number... Three and we're over to number two. Yancy, we were waiting for you, Yancy. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? All Could right, you so repeat again. No, we. I, I said. Have... I said. I said we were waiting for you. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you together to a different with somebody else. Okay. Probably I would like to I don't know how to say in in English, but I would like to be in different country at the same time. Um, to the transportation, maybe yeah, it's something like like this. Okay, and why? Why? Because I, I would like to know uh, different countries around the world. No, it's okay. Okay, the second one, if you won the lottery, how would you spend the money? Oof, okay, if I won the lottery, maybe um, I would like to invest it, invest it, uh, obviously that money, because I don't know, I... Uh, I like to to that world of stocks and in versionist world. And maybe I if I want the lottery, yeah, I would I would do that. And the other thing, maybe um uh, I would spend time with my girlfriend, with my family, um and I would like to travel around the world and yeah. yeah. Okay. If I if I won the lot the lottery, I I will I will buy a, a boat. A boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the next one, if you could travel back in time, which historical event would you like to witness and why? Um, uh, maybe I would like to. Sorry, like crafts of this country. Okay, I, I would like to travel to to the North Pole to see the boreal, uh, the 
Auroras Boreales. I don't know who to say that in English. I don't know. Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Oh, the teacher is here. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello, teacher. teacher. Hey, man. How do you say Cold Aurora Borealis? Northern Lights. Northern Northern Lights. Northern Northern Lights. Light. Northern Lights. Northern Northern Lights. Light. Okay. Yes. In my case, if I have one million dollars. I buy a lot of things for my house. <laughs> <laughs> you would like for to, example, to buy a lot I of would things. to buy, uh, I don't know, I would buy, not a lot not of, a, not I would to buy, right? I would buy. I would buy a lot of things. Yes. For I think example, I will buy a house first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would buy yeah. uh, a lot of console video games. Oh yeah, great for video games. Yes, <laughs> I like Nintendo and I like PlayStation. Yeah. Teacher, do you like? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I, I'm a PC gamer, but, Oh, you're a PC but, game. but, but yeah, but I like Nintendo. Okay. I like, I like the Switch. I don't have one, but I, I like the games. I like some games. Okay. I, I think Mario Kart is awesome. Yes, Oh, Mario yeah, Kart Mario is the Kart. most. Mario Kart is the most uh, popular video game. From Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and Have from you ever PlayStation, played? the most popular video game I see in God of War. Good of War. Yeah. I think it's God called of War Duty, man. and, and a lot of, for example, or Horizon, Horizon for Biden West. Forbidden. Forbidden. Ah, forbidden. Uh, yeah, I have never played God of War, but I like to play Call of Duty mobile because I don't have a, a, a console or, or a computer or a PC. All right. I have a Nintendo Switch. Oh, <laughs> have And you I play played, have you, Mario Kart have you, 8? oh, yeah. I, I have that on an emulator. Teacher, do you have My a PC. console? An emulator and in the No. PC? On yeah, on my PC, yes. Oh I have. I have yeah, a Nintendo that Switch emulator on my PC. yeah, that's awesome. You have a very good PC. Yes, yes, I do have Oh a very nice laptop I would like actually. to have one. Yes. <laughs> They're expensive though, but What yeah. kind of video games do you like, teacher? I don't know, but uh I don't know. I like strategy. I like Age of Empires. Mm, Okay. I don't know, man. It depends. I, I like RPGs. Oh, you like RPGs. I Yes. have never tried RPGs, but I think that the RPGs are, are very good. But you need to, to to have time to play RPGs. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's why I don't play them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have yeah, time. you, In you my need case, to I like level adventure up games. character. You Adventure like what? games and Adventure platform games. games. Platform, platform, not platform. Platform, platform, <laughs> platform Platform, games, platform. platform games. Yes, all right, all right. That's awesome, man. That is truly awesome. All right, so keep keep working on the questions and second conditionals because I need to check on everybody else, okay? But Okay. good, good talk, guys, good talk. Maybe, maybe him, yeah. Maybe who? Maybe he or him. I don't know. Uh, Maybe him. I was, Okay. uh, yeah. I I I was talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. So Oh, him, okay. yeah. Face Him or he? face Him, yeah. face my person. Yeah, he's my person. I I would like to meet to Celine Dion, and I would like to ask her how. to start her career. How did she start her career? And the next one, if you could change one thing about your country education system, what would you 
what would it be and why? Maybe I would like to change education in our country because I consider education is um is very important for our people for 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 all people uh, around the world and our country is not exception and I consider our system education is a little bit deficient um in the public schools and because um. Well, my, my 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 father is a teacher, and I saw that system. Uh, it's a little bit deficient, and and I consider uh the the government uh should should have more um more systems to to our people to our children to um to do a lot of things such as sports or. I don't know something like that because our system education actually is a little bit bad, and uh, yeah, I consider we have we have a lot of things to improve in our country and that field. Yeah, yeah, it is very necessary to to get a good education. Uh, you know, we we have to educate. Our futures, children, child, child, when in the beginning from home Ch and children, school, children, yes, mm -hmm. our future children, children, uh, from home and then school and then teach them a different kind of uh, educations like don't throw away on the street the trash, don't be a, a gossip. Or don't be like, uh, how can I say? Don't say a bad words. To, don't say bad words mm -hmm. to no one. Okay. That, that would be that, that would be like that would be more like don't talk back to anybody. Mm -hmm, exactly. Thank you, teacher. And the next one, if you if you could create a new holiday, what will would would it be and how would people celebrate it? Um maybe I don't know, maybe I will I, I would like uh to exist uh the um the I don't know rest day no um hold on Rest day or relation or rela relax rest relaxing. day a relaxing day a relaxing day and uh, I would like to to celebrate that day because I consider all people need uh, a day to rest and and be free of their problems and some things like that and maybe I would like to celebrate that day um in our work, in our work with a bonus and with a day totally off. And yeah, maybe I would like to, I would like to, to exist that, that day. And I would like to that day um, was on December because December uh, for me is the, is the better, the better month of the year. And I would like to celebrate that day of the of that day exists real, really. Mm -hmm. That is like uh, a pic a picnic day, right? <laughs> yeah, it will sound right. And I, I will I will say that maybe we can we will celebrate in the future like a cleaning day mm -hmm. to clean our our country, our uh, town or around the town and yes. everywhere. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, good really. job. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to go back now, guys. Let's go. Okay. okay. Como están? Now? I'm very calm. Mm -hmm. What? What are you talking about? All right, very good, guys. So, uh, 
What? What were you talking about, Joanna? <laughs> hey, guys. Um, so that's it, guys. Okay. So that's that's basically you know the use of second conditionals. Um, on Wednesday, guys. Wednesday is Mother's Day, right? Yes. Okay. So on Wednesday, guys, we are going to get. Um, Wednesday we're gonna we're gonna be off, okay? All right, we're gonna have a day off. Uh, so we're gonna have to come on that Friday. So, el miércoles no venimos, pero el viernes sí, de la otra semana también, okay? All right, so. Okay. Uh, I prefer to. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer to come on Wednesday too, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too sad. Anyway, Can we so, negotiate that? I wish, I wish. I'm I'm with you on that, you know. I, I wish. But anyways, um, thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you later.